Hmm. Sintoni t-shirt. LZX, please send me a t-shirt. I have to buy one. I have to put in an order and include a t-shirt. But what I have got here is a, as you can see here on the TV screen, right? And as you can see here on the cam, on the webcam, three LZX boxes, of which the first one is Generation 3, Gen 3 keychain. Number 26, perhaps number 23 would have been cool, but beggars can't be choosers now, can they? Right. So a little bit of feedback, can never have enough fun with feedback. So this is actually a product unveil. Hmm, can't say I've ever done one. Don't think I'll ever do one again. Have we ever had one through a video sense? Let's put some colors. Ooh. Oh yeah. So, why haven't I put an LFO on this kind of stuff? That was silly to me. Should have done that. I'll see for now. So, actually, let's do that. Let's do that. If you say it and think of it, you should just do it for the fun of it, you know? So, I'll put two and input. Let's see what, see what happens. I feel bad this is going to get. Made of all some settings. Hmm. Or am I totally wrong? And this is not set up at all. I thought it was powered in. Oh, you know what? It's not powered in. I have my LFO on another row. And there's no power. Hmm. But there's this. Let's try this. So let's see if this plays. Ah, oh, that's better. Good. So, uh, what did we do with that? Do we still get our colorizing effect? We don't. Let's see if we do that. And that's too much. And that's too little. And so, yes, we want it happily in the middle. So, 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 so. Bars are a bit strong, maybe. If anything, you don't have too weak. Oh, what have I done? I've done something wrong. Anyhow, back to the keychain and the unveil, the boxing. Oh, Jesus Christ. Hmm. <laughs> Come out a bit sideways. So now then we say our ways. Hmm. So I try to keep the language decent. Try. Being the operative word. So this being an unveil, I have to keep everything in shot, right? So I shouldn't scoop back a little. Thus also let the camera in on the action. So let's oh now that is too much isn't it? Ah let's roll the red down. So let's play with focus here. Play with some depth. Oh I turned the red down too much. Mm -hmm. Blunder have I done here? So let's play with that focus. And yeah, not too bright. Hmm. 
That's a shame. Let me take that one out. That one up. How oh, cool, and we see our thoughts flying in the air. Yay. So, 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 we have got a, ugh, I want, shouldn't be too dark. The LFO is a nice idea, but it's proven to be problematic. Mm. So, we got a box. Well, not a box, a cardboard surrounding. We have got, according to the back here, an LZX keychain that's 110 milliamps, 12 volt, it's number 26. To be confirmed by the viewers of this video. So we've got our 16 pin power. We have got the three PCB, new LZX power setup system. No sync, it's 8 HP, right? And uh, quite a dense main input output PCB. So we have got three channels, three jacks per channel, output, key input, CV input. We have two parts per channel, CV input, which has got a center detente. Oh, there's that center detente, nice. Negative values, minus one, positive values, plus one. And we have a threshold, which in that case we set to full. And there's a nice little one written above threshold. And on the other side, a zero. And, ooh, that part's a bit, bit of a, a kind of a scratch that was nice and smooth but then sometimes when you twist them quick or you give them a bit of a wiggle oh, 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 fixes it oh this one's got a bend a slight one but yeah, i've noticed it right away oh. sometimes you have to hold it to the side and you then see it so let's see if we can get this parallel with the camera so this isn't easy because of course it's all back to front now, isn't it? So let's see if you guys can see that, all right? There. Oh well, yeah, whatever. Shouldn't be complaining. Center the tone on the top. Channel one, CV input. Parts feel quite different to each other, actually, I would say. Maybe it's just the center detente. Detente, detente, francais, part of francais. So, ooh, ah, yeah. Oh, I felt like it got really tight as it got to that minus one position. Let's see if it feels quite different to the top part. Oh. Mm, not really. Just maybe first twist somewhere is a bit tighter. But I believe that all the, just centering them all, I believe that all the Gen 3 modules have passed through the hands of Nick, production manager at LCX HQ in Portland, Oregon, USA. Hmm. So, no licking the modules guys and girls kissing okay bad jokes bad jokes so it is a keychain and now we have two choices ladies and gentlemen we i feck the royal we that's what i say so i will put it aside for a moment before putting it in the rack to then look at the other two we have got here. Let's see if we can make this camera play ball. Ah, ha, ha, nice and dark, right when you want it to come into action. So there is a keychain. Ooh, there's a bit of additional information written there. What is that about? 
first we've got to get it into focus. And yes, it does say keychain. And it also says stairs in pen and keychain has been X'd out. Just for everyone else to see. So is it a defect? Is it a flaw? Is it a feature? Hmm. I like I'm never I'm not fussy about stuff like this. If a panel is trashed or something, when you take it out of the box and it's supposed to be brand new, then yeah, then that's like what the heck? Well that went open nice and easy. Ah, this one is also drawing the, the module up and out. Yeah, maybe it's a feature. Um, so, mm, second unveil. So, ah, plastic opened at the top of the module last time. Now it opens at the bottom. Hmm. It is a stairs, good, it's not a second keychain. I was worried about that X and scratching out and renaming stuff. Mm -hmm. Nice, slow, dramatic slide out of the plastic. Plastic goes into the box with the help of my ghostly assistant. Nice long cable. Maybe Twenty centimeters long. That's like eight inches. It is eight inches. So let's remove that piece of cardboard. Let's see if our recording is still recording. It is twelve minutes. Oh my God! I am sorry for keeping your time, and we have only gotten to the second module, and it is a LZX Gen three. Stairs with face, but steps on the other side is face, and then we have the CV input for each. With oh, yeah, center the tool. Yeah, sometimes parts that have never been used have a bit of a kind of a not a rusty feel that's too strong, but just they're not loose as if it were. Hmm, I see a cable in there. It has been glued down. Very thin cable, so it's clearly going from one resistor or another to somewhere else. Hmm, can we see that in there? Oh, you can. Yeah, that orange thing. Haha, <laughs> no good meat telling you it's orange because of my crazy webcam that came out of the box like that and I've never been able to fix it. But I like it. Spooks people on the Zoom meetings. But why not? It's good to surprise people. So the steps go from 0 to 64 and the phase of steps 0 to 64 and the phase 0 to 1 and yes, minus 1 to zero to ton and plus one for the CV inputs, which we have here. And cool, because the red on the input section looks purple. The green looks gold at an angle or yellow, and then turns a nice metallic gold. And the blue is very turquoise, but a nice metallic turquoise. I like that a lot. And then we have all the various outputs. Two, four, ooh, I was about to say six. 24816-3264, so we double all the way, rectified, six times, cool, look up forward to this, ah, ah, oh, now that looks, hmm, look great on my TV, and it then turns dark, that is very frustrating, isn't it, I clearly don't know how to use a very simple feature of my cortex. Hmm. Amateur. Hmm. Ah, let's see. Hmm. Hmm. 
<laughs> Anyhow, so nice to see the stairs goofing about here in front of my camera as part of the unveil. Down, but, ah, that's boring. Now you want to see the TV, right? I was pointing at the TV on my monitor. It's a bit silly. So, all cool with the, um, about with the, uh, focus. So, 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 so. So, so, ladies and gentlemen. So, oh, that, uh, So, this is the stairs. Now we should put it in the rack. Certainly not. So, let me attempt this without destroying the module, the system. And hmm. Oh, yeah. And now, so there, let's do this. Let's push some stuff around. How do we get the TV and the system in frame? Oh. I clearly wasn't attempting to frame this. Amateur Robin. So let's find a couple of screws of which the thingy there was lying on top. So what do you call it? The uh, keychain. So, ah, I have not got what you call it, things here. This, I've got sliding on, so. This makes it, oh, okay, first one went down quickly, second one, there. That's the important one is the bottom. Good, let's push that over a little. Yes. Now, Now, let's kind of start taking some stuff out. Not too much. Let's take this one. Let's take this simple call pot. And let's another table. We don't need a long one, we just need a short one. Let's take a simple diamond and go into the red input. Ah. And now, what is the best way to do this? Ah, let's take the camera out of the equation. All right. And now, we should see a diamond. Let's take that LFO out of the equation. As much as I like the things. Let's do that. Let's do let's take all these out then because it means not keeping the camera. Which is a bit of a shame. And now why aren't we see? ah there we go. So there's our diamond. Well we've got the big line going up and down the middle like that. Hmm. Well, that's good Hmm. Okay. Ah, haha. -ha. I'm seeing a big line on my screen. I'm sure you guys aren't seeing it. And it's just related to what I have selected here. So, there we go. That's fine. So, 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 so. 
I shouldn't even know where the TV is. But, so we got a diamond. I'm using the two hours, so let's make it a bit more interesting. Let's go to the six hour. Ah, cool. And of course, that diamond is it's either exponential logarithmic, I can never remember that. And that, of course, is linear. And this then is your, I guess, logarithmic. I associate that with circles, but I'm probably wrong. Um, cool. So now I have that into the 16 hour. Right, so let's take the steps back just a tiny bit. Sorry, that's the phase I'm playing with. Right? That's the steps up to max. The phase is in the middle, right? And of course, adjusting the CV. Oh, just makes a tiny difference. Okay, that's good to know. Only on the phase, a tiny bit on the step, only to the minus, not to the positive. But the phase, it was both ways. Yeah, it was. So, let's drop the step. Let's go back to two. Oh, that's nice. Let's go back to, yeah, let's go back to the diamond. Now play with the phase. Oh, cool. Oh, that looked really nice. Ah, cool. So now that's the phase to zero. Good. I just wanted to see if it was minus one. And that's now with the steps dropping way out. Bringing the phase way up. Steps are still up. Ah, cool that you can actually fade to black. Steps are up full there, phase is full, and now I'm bringing the steps down. And once it's hitting, let's say, 1 p.m., 6 out of 10, and now the phase, bring that to like 12, bring the steps up. Yeah, now let's jump to 4. Oh, yeah, cool. That's dropping steps down to zero, back to full, let's say half, four, cool, four, sorry, two, four, this is eight, six, 16, this is 32, Ooh, wow, ah, cool. Mm. And then the phase of that. Oh, wow, cool. Hmm. So that's phase down to zero. And now I'm dropping the steps. But in my computer monitor, it looks way better on the my TV here. Big Sony. Oh, and, and now we've got to push it another level. Let's push it to 64. Oh wow, so that's the phase to full actually, and the steps to full. And now if we bring the steps down just a little, it disappears. Wow, so that's actually really cool and interesting. Ah, a bit of bling in the corner, but more on my laptop, right at the edge. So that's fine. Wow, cool. Jesus Christ, that's, that's a bit crazy. Oh, that's interesting. You can see what I'm seeing on the screen. No, it's coming in here. Hmm, cool. Jesus Christ. Ah, of course, and I'm not thinking the most obvious thing at all. Let's drop those steps back. We're only using a single output. So we just become aware of that. We could take another output to could go to channel B of cortex just for the fun of it. And let's cross there. Ah cool. Yeah, and I have the key what do you call it, the key part in the middle. That's actually nice to cross there between the 64 output and the 32 output. That's the 64, that's the 32. Let's, okay, let's go back to the 64. Let's pop, let's drop to eight. Oh, nice. Hmm, cool. Let's drop. Let's go up to 16. Oh, that's awesome. Okay. Hmm. 
Okay, let's go. So that is 16. Is that a 32? This one is now 16. Hmm. Oh, wow. Okay, let's LFO that. Let's make it really fast. And that, okay. <laughs> not too fast, Robin, not too fast. That is now pushing the crossfader fully to my right, um, turning the LFO into a square. And actually, I have them kind of set even, so I'm going to make it more of a ramp. So, it should be fairly from Oh yeah, that's nice, fading from the 16 to the 32. Oh, I'm just thinking, can we kind of swap that? So all that we have to do is swap the charts. There we go, we're fading from 16 down to eight. Okay, so I'll wave drop. And then just invert that. Well, make a triangle. Now oh, we can actually, so the steps was just above 12 o'clock, the phase was just below that, so bring the phase into the middle, and now bring the steps up. Bring the steps down, adjust the phase. Hmm. Let's increase the gap. Hmm, cool. Let's do something like that. Oh yeah, now let's again do this. And so now one of them is set to two and the other is set to thirty-two. Oh, so just nice to crossfade. So that's the two and crossfading into the thirty-two. No quick swap. Ah, now we should just make it more of a triangle. Now it blends from one to the other. And of course, the obvious thing to do would be to malt the Oh, no, we don't need to mold it. Right? Oh, no. We have the LFO output, and we go straight into step CV. Cool. What does that kill my crossfade? I believe it does. Let's see how that looks here. Yeah, that's a shame. I think it did kill the crossfade, but let me try something. Oh, hmm. Okay, that's a shame. So, ah, well, let's never had to try. Oh, that looked fantastic for a moment. Cool. All right, okay, so I've got the CV up pretty high. I'm going to take the steps up even higher. Oh, okay. Oh. Steps down. Hmm. And now let's try the CV. Sorry, the face. Um, Ah, oh, that's cool. That is nice. Hmm. You know what? I don't have to use that one. I can use 
Is this still recording and so on? It is. This is turning out to be much, much longer than I thought. So, I'm now patching into this depth input. Crossfade output. Don't really need to do that, but why not? And let's put fun of that. Oh yeah, so as I suspect a few of you guessed, we've got some oscillator action going on. Now I'm crossfading between two of the oscillators. Thank you, Adrian in Australia, for the Game Brain module. I really like it. It's set to 4Q. Oh, that's 2Q. Two signals going in. And that's 4 that's great. So let's play about with the speeds of these. Ah. Let's do Ah, let's do it. That's funny. I wasn't expecting that. Now let's take the steps. Take the phase down. Well, let's take the phase up. Oh, wow. And then, actually, let's. Well, that's minus on the phase. Let's go positive. Oh, wow. Jesus. Oh, I had a very nice setting there until I hit that. Hmm. A nice I don't know what I'm saying. So that ah, there we go. So that kind of diagonal is definitely an unsynced task. Now I'm playing with the steps. Wow, pa. And now I'm taking the CV of the steps down. I'm bringing it so the steps is almost down to nothing and the, the, the CV is just up a tiny bit. Now I'm bringing the steps up and we're still using two outputs and that is number two and number 32. Now let's quickly bring it up to full. That's a bit too much, I guess, but hmm, cool. So let's use 64. Let's go to full, completely over the top. Bring that CV down. Oh wow, that was nice. Oh wow, that's bringing the phase CV up to four. Jeez. In this, taking the face totally out, that's just the face part. Okay. Now bring the ah, so right, bring the face down a tiny bit to bring it actually into play. Hmm, I bet DWO is going to be pretty damn sick. So, the dual oscillator. I must say, I love Bastion's VU009. Really? So, I don't have it here. I've got it in my live rack. This is the studio one, which is, it's just I haven't unpacked it. I had a gig two nights ago, so you have to forgive me. So, yeah, I'm just playing about the settings here, and I'm 
being a bit selfish, I think, and self-centered. But we still got FKG3 to unveil. Hmm. Nah. Another day. I just wish you guys could see how cool this looks. Ooh, it's frustrating when it's not looking so cool. Bring it back in. Let's add it on channel so I don't see. Oh, let's put it in the colors. Jeez, that's a wacky idea. Let's get there. Ah, nice. There's our TV. Here is our Zoom. Let's get the feedback into the middle. All right. Ah, and then we can soften the focus, which is always a nice trick. Oh, I'm just trying to get the camera into the perfect position. Ah. Of course, that's, that's, that never works, does it, when you want it to? Oh, uh, yeah. And you know what I can do here is we can adjust the, yeah, that's a bit bad, yeah, but it's still too bright, isn't it? Hmm. <laughs> so let's try it off. Barbara. To the camera and to the ideal position. Oh, that is a lot better. So I was bloody messing about with the focus. So now let's see if we can get it in. Ah, there we are in focus. But you know what? Let me flex really nice. And now, so now we can zoom out. Oh, I'm cool, we see the TV and stuff. And then we can zoom in. And yeah, at a certain point, that's just going to stop. And now we can take all the steps down. Oh, that's cool with all the key. We can take the speed of the telephone down. We can take that out a little. And then we can bring this. Ah. Oh, that's good. That's the CD. And let's see if we take out that one. Oh, cool. We'll do that one. And then we do this one. And of course, if we take this a little bit, it's cool plus feedback tricks, right? So. But we need it. We need some modulation. Too far. Let's see how. Okay, so that looks better. Ah, so I have the steps for and that's the CV that we've got going in there. Oh, cool. So the center detente definitely is working. So we're seeing none of the CV. I will bring, let's see, bring in the 16 steps again. Uh, ah, let's go to linear. Let's adjust that speed because it's a bit annoying. Ah, stop. Oh, yeah, that's fine. And then, there's others. Ah, huh? oh, haha, <laughs> 
twisting the wrong thought philosophy. So let's enter that up. Ah, Shem here on the webcam. It's just super bright, but at least we have both. And uh, I think I have egotistically said and done enough stuff for today. So, thank you guys. Because, hey, I, I'm absolutely not the first person that got my hands in a staircase. And a bunch of people made a bunch of cool videos. Um, all short, but short and sweet, right? This is just absurd. 40 minutes, great. I'm not going to edit it because I can't. And I don't really want to. Um, cool. It is Sunday afternoon. It is Berlin time. Almost 6 p.m. Two minutes to 6. I want to say 8 or 8 because we say 18 or oxygen or over here as opposed to 6 p.m. But uh but yeah. So I hope you enjoyed this and till next time. Auf Wiedersehen.